Kuwait's permanent delegation to UNESCO submitted a bid for Phylaka Island to be recognized as a protected international cultural and natural heritage site. The island has many archaeological finds that dates back to the Bronze Age, including ancient statues, weapons, ornaments, and a fort belonging to Alexander the Great. The UNESCO aims to contribute to peace and security by promoting international collaboration through education, science and culture, as proclaimed in the UN Charter. Sarah Ferris Glob has more in this report. The United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization, or UNESCO, has agreed to include Felica Island as one of the contenders for the list of World Heritage Sites during the body's 37th General Assembly meeting held in Cambodia in June. It is, it is a long-term project. I started this project from 2001. Now I reach the, the objective. I reached the target that Felicas became the tentative list. Now the second target to be registered. The third target to have more sites like serial nomination in Felica and the World Heritage List. The ancient history of Felica dates back to the beginning of the second millennium BC, to the Bronze Age, when the Adilman cultural phenomenon occupied the western shoreline and islands of the Arabian Gulf. During the second millennium BC, uh, uh, in Felica, uh, we uncover uh, a resident area, goes back to this period, and Inzak Temple, and also the administration building, and uh, another temple, what they call the Tower Temple, and also the ancient harbor of Felica. This is what uh, we found in Felica, was related to the second millennium BC, and this uh, period is continuous until the end of the second millennium BC. Uh, then you know that uh, civilization it depends on the political situation also. Felica remained settled until the mid second millennium during the so called Kassite period. Another peak in Felica's history was the Hellenistic period when the travelers of Alexander the Great reached the island in the 4th century BC. After these historical epochs, the late pre Islamic period was also relevant there, particularly during the 5th to the 9th century AD. In Kuwait we found one church in uh, Akaz Island, two church in Felica, in uh, Emirat they found a church in Sirbanias, in Iran they found in Khart, they mentioned about uh, Bahrain, they mentioned about Qatar, they mentioned about Oman, so all the Gulf was occupied on the islands by a Christian in that time, what they call it the Eastern, Eastern uh, church or Nestorian church. Felica uh, uh, Island is the most uh, important uh, island in Kuwait uh, because it has most archaeological sites in Kuwait. Uh, it has different sites, begins uh, with the uh, Dilmun civilization, which is dated. Uh, dates back uh, from 2100 BC. This historical significance is tantamount to why this tiny sliver of land is now being recognized by one of the world's most influential bodies. Now it's accepted in the tentative list. Yeah. Now we are working to prepare, uh, to prepare the file for registration. So we have uh, better our line to invite some expert from outside also, it will be a kind of workshop for our people, how to prepare the file, how to take care of the, of the site, and also about management plan. So now we have a group, Kuwaiti young fellow. We train them for four years. Uh, they prepare the list, and uh, actually I am very proud about them because they prepare uh, the tentative list and everything. Now they are working to prepare the dossier with our colleague, the expert from the UNESCO. So we hope that in two or three years we will register uh, this site in Felica, but there will be several sites to be registered. It is the first step. The UNESCO World Heritage Sites panel is made up of representatives from 21 countries that vet all the applications for sites enlistment. Once the site is approved, it remains on the list for a period of four years.
The ongoing efforts to transfer Felica Island into a cultural touristic site are making headway now after several years of hard work. Currently, it is in the process of being registered at UNESCO's World Heritage Site, which is a huge leap forward. From the National Council for Culture, Arts and Letters, this is Sarah Glub reporting for English News.